Have you ever walked nervously down the corridors of a haunted house only to suddenly feel something behind you and quickly turn around? This is what you'll feel in multiplayer Luigi's Mansion. This attraction, much like in a horror film, features a stronger ghost chasing a group of weaker players who better work together or else. In this game, both the ghost player using the Wii U gamepad screen and his pursuers are viewing, and his pursuers viewing the TV are seeing the same floor of the mansion, but what they're sensing is entirely different. If you look closely at the center screen, which represents the big TV, compared to the side screens showing the gamepad view, you'll, you'll soon notice that they're quite different. The gamepad ghost can see all the players all the time but the other players cannot see the ghost. In the four corners, you see the human players, and in the center is the ghost. Now look at the main screen. The ghost is not here. The people playing on the main screen cannot see the ghost. Fighting against an enemy you can't see seems like a truly one-sided advantage. But the Wii remotes rumble when the ghost gets near. So, if the teammates don't cooperate by talking to each other when the ghost is near, they won't be able to track it down. Their objective is to shine their flashlights on the ghost, to damage the ghost until they defeat it. But if they leave their lights on too long, their batteries will run out. When the flashlight beam hits the ghost, he takes damage. The ghost life meter starts at 100, and it drops the entire time it's lit up. If it reaches zero, the ghost loses. Oh, okay, the ghost has attacked one of the humans. When this happens, the human fades, and when you faint, you can't walk around anymore. If all four humans are down at the same time, the ghost wins. Here you see the other players shining their flashlights on the one who fainted. If you do this long enough, the player who fainted will wake up again. You'll have to help your fallen partner to make sure your team doesn't lose. Oh, but as they're shining their lights on the partner, their batteries are running low. As the batteries run low, the power of the flashlight gets weaker until it goes out altogether. Before you lose all power, you'll need to get more batteries. But of course, the ghost will also guess at this and may be lying in wait, so you have to be careful. See, the ghost attacked when they were doing all they could to revive their fallen comrade. If you don't pay attention, you often lose track of what's happening around you. But because the remote of the person who fainted still rumbles when the ghost approaches, they have to tell the players around them to watch out and help in their own revival. Oh, here the players have surrounded the ghost in the hallway. It's difficult to escape from this unharmed, so you have to prepare for the damage. And as the ghost race to get away. What do you think?